and happy Tuesday. It's also Halloween, so happy Halloween if you're celebrating Halloween. Uh, my name is Bo, and this is James Stand. Hello, Yay, hello, James Stand. And uh, you may have noticed we are not wearing face paint. Where have we gone wrong? Maybe something will will uh, present itself. Uh oh. Some oh. Point. Oh. Knows? Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm just clicking this away. We don't That's need to see fine. ourselves. We do want to yep. see the chat, <laughs> and we want to say hello to Billy, Dat Luder, Spiral Guide, Ladies Designer, FCP Rog, Harry Steele, Janata, uh, Potter Noster. Hello, Shan is here. When Guardian Luffy Coaster is here. Demonoroth. Uh, Robin and Joel, hello, and obviously there's there's more, I'm sure. Dice Hard, hello. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're doing a little a little special special today, uh, and it's not Halloween. We're doing a Halloween stream tomorrow on YouTube uh, with hopefully Nick Rogers. He is sick today, so I do hope that he is feeling better by tomorrow because um, we had some fun stuff planned. Uh, but today we want to dedicate this Twitch stream to Annika. Annika is. A, a lovely and beautiful spirit in the Planet Coaster uh, family. And uh, she recently had a, uh, a, a load of bad news. She had a terrible diagnosis. And, uh, and we, we, we want to just, you know, send her all of our love and our good, positive thoughts. And Annika, we're thinking of you and we love you very much. And thank you so much for, for being part of the Planet Coaster uh, family for, for this past year. Um, you are valued and I hope you know that. Um, so we are dedicating this stream to you today uh, and thank you everyone who's putting all the hearts and the love in the chat because that's exactly the spirit uh, of the Planko fam that we're, and, and why we're doing this basically. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm trying not to get too emotional because... That was beautiful. Y yeah. yeah. But I couldn't have put it better myself. I know, right? So thank you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's not a Halloween stream that will be tomorrow. I thought this was more important today, so um, that's why we wanted to do this. And thank you very much for joining it's me. All right. And I know that you've you've written a little. A oh, little, I have. A little opening song yes, for let's, us. Yes, let's whip would out you, the would ukulele. Would you just like to yep. like to jump straight in yeah, with why that? Not? Yay! Yeah. This is why, why we ha we have James. Just to play songs for everyone all the of time. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can't come unless I bring something prepared. There has so. to be a song. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, so, just let's call this Heyo. 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 Okay. Heyo. Okay. Heyo. Yep. Heyo. Heyo. Talaseo. Heyo. Talaseo. Loose yallop sow. Planet coaster, loose bell salmon, mel harvester. Hey yo, Talaseo. Hey yo, Talaseo. Oh, there we go. That was a I did something. this too late. Oh. <laughs> That was very good! There it goes. And what, what to all of us rough. who are not fluent? So uh, that, that, that was, uh, hello, how are you? Um, very conversational starting Opening, piece. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then it translates as, let's play some Planet Coaster. Yeah. Uh, let's have fun. It is Halloween. So. Ooh, very yeah, nice. Yeah, to those who don't know, because we, since FX, we do have some new uh, viewers that yep. are joining us weekly. Um, welcome, if you're, if you're not a regular viewer. Um, James Stand is senior audio That's designer. That's correct, yes. Yep. Um, on, on Planet Coaster and also Jurassic World Evolution at this yes, moment. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Um, and he is Professor Planko, as we like to call him. He has created Planko, I the have. official Planet Coaster language. Um, yeah. Which is awesome. Yes. Which is really, really cool. So, incredibly creative mind. So, if you I have any questions, just do. realize that the game audio was probably playing. I know, yeah, I just turned that. it off too late. So. <laughs> I can I'm play really it again, sorry. I can play it better. We'll play it, we'll, we can play it at the end, we'll do it again. We'll put our hands together <laughs> at the end for Annika and then we'll play the song again. Yeah, lovely. Um, but yes, uh, one day we shall have subtitles for Planko or we will all learn to speak it fluently, um, says Jester, Jester yeah. D. That would be the goal. Um, I know that last year for the 24 hour live stream, you did a little Planko masterclass with me. Yes. And I don't remember anything. No, it was 8 a.m. in the morning. Oh, it was yeah. so difficult. Um, but you tried. I kudos tried, kudos yeah, to you, you yeah. for trying to teach me at that point of the day when I did like 16 hours of streams. Maybe this year we can try again, but Maybe. a bit, a bit yep, earlier. Yep. <laughs> what, like 5 a.m.? Um, 
no. at 5 a.m. <laughs> well, if you're, hey, if you're oh, sacrificing no. yourself, <laughs> then that's fine with me. I'm just saying you're going to have to fulfill the promise. Um, Yes, sorry, just putting the game audio back on. And I think we had this on Sony as well. I'm sure you know the perfect settings for this, but I'm just doing it. Um, so what we, what we have for you today is basically a look at Annika, who is known as Yav on, uh, on Steam, uh, having a look at all of her uh, awesome um, creations that she's made. Um, so yeah, if you shall just open a random let's, park, would yeah. you like to, yeah, would you like to click this. click for me? Um, Ooh, Ooh, just anything. Yes. Yeah. Go for nice. Alpine. Alpine Park. Um, do we have a date for the Frontier Christmas stream, says Shinari. Uh Not yet. We are about to brainstorm it. So we have we have the date that we want it to do, but it's kind of depending on uh, some other factors that we are working on at the moment. So uh, we're basically in the initial planning stages for it. And it's definitely going to happen. We will have a 24-hour Christmas stream. Um, it will be a bit earlier in the year, um, but or it will still be in December, but it will just be a bit earlier. I think last year it was on the 16th and the 17th, or maybe even the 18th and the 19th. I can't 100% remember. Um, but yes, it will be around that time. And um, yeah. Gonna be, it's gonna be really exciting. We're, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to try to sort of top what we did top last what year. Top what we did last yeah. year, which is which is crazy because we we raised 46k and uh, for an amazing cause. For an for an amazing cause, yeah. 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 Um, oh, that's another thing I do want to say. Uh, when you do put a hashtag for Anik in the chat after this stream, I'm going to be. Uh, me personally, this is not a frontier thing. Sorry, this is me, Bo, as a person. I'm going to be making a donation to uh, the National Cancer Trust. There is a national one for every single country. They do uh, amazing work. So please, um, if you have any sort of money to spare this month and you want to do something good with it, find your national uh, cancer trust. I think in Holland it's the um, KWF. Um, and, and donate any 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 little bit helps and uh, and it, it can help you know people's treatment and um, and diagnosis uh, earlier diagnosis all that sort of stuff it's just very important I'm sure all of us have um, experience with this horrible illness um, so a every little bit that you can you can do helps um, and that's me Bo as a person not Bo the community manager is Bo as a person uh, saying that um, so. I think as Planko fam, we can we can do something nice um, for her. So yes, okay. Sorry. So let's have a look at um, at Annika's some really cool stuff that she's created. Um, I saw some really cool Egyptian things that she's been doing, which oh, is really? awesome because Ooh. I always love it when people invent new themes that aren't really Planko themes. Um, yeah, look at that. So there's a whole bunch of Egyptian things in there. Excellent. And some cool houses. So let's let's have a let's have a look see. Um, Go straight Ooh. in with the Egyptian building. Yes, this is great because uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Origins every <laughs> night, so this totally fits with my current obsession. Um, so thank you, Annika, for totally knowing that uh, months months ago. Um, but yeah, she's been making some really cool Egyptian things. It's very impressive. So this is the uh, I did write it down. So um, Y A V is her username on Steam. So do uh, give some love to all of her items that you see today in the uh, in the stream. And this must be the Egyptian building, I think it's called. Why am I obstructed? Are you obstructed? Uh, so there must be an item that's saved along with the blueprint that's outside of the I boundaries see, at that point. So maybe. you might just have to sort of rotate and find kind of where it can go. Hmm. <laughs> somewhere. We can place it. Somewhere we can place it. So maybe if, if you zoom out a little bit yep. and we rotate it. Uh, you can see, so see, you can see there's two little things here that oh. are obstructing it. So if you place it here, <laughs> yeah, see, there's like oh, little there bushes are, in the distance. Are. You, how you dare trying you? Trying to catch me out. Uh, <laughs> it's like right outside. Yeah, hey, you did it. Did it. It is massive. Hello, Kimitex. Thank you very much for joining us. Nanobyte TV. Of course, I remember you. Thank you very much for uh, for reminding me. It was lovely to meet you at TwitchCon, and, and thank you so much for. Um, for, tu for tuning in with us today. So yeah, this I is the like Egyptian this. building. Mm. It's, a, it's, I guess, a little sort of forefront of the city. Mm. Um, mm. It's so beautiful. I really like it. Mm. So she's used these awesome, how did she do that? How did she get those patterns in there? Is that a thing? 
The blue, yellow and red? Yeah. Yeah, those are wonderful. Can we, how can we, can we, can we edit? Can we find a way, can we, Annika, how did you do this? Stick a wall. Oh, it's ah. on the wall. That's really cool. Oh, it's part of the, uh, pir is it part of the pirate wall? Mm. Billy at MF Maze knows exactly which wall it is. There we go. Yep. <laughs> it's a wall. Yeah, I really like the patterns. I've never seen them used that way. And I think the colors really fit with the Egyptian mm. theme as well. That's excellent. Yeah, with the flags and the banners. It's yeah. beautiful. It's really nice. It's kind of, I see this as like the start to like a beautiful sand covered city. Mm, yeah. Egyptian city. Yep, grand opening. Super nice. Yep. I like it. Excellent. Well done. So yeah, this, and it's, it's pretty big as well. I didn't expect it to be so big. And now, or we can also just get stairs to go down, and then there's like treasure mm. and a sphinx, yep. something like that. Ooh. My imagination is going wild. So <laughs> excellent job. Um, yeah, that's very cool. How long has it been since you've played Panda Coaster? Because <laughs> I know you're very wild. busy. Yes, I am a very busy man, but um, I. I'm trying to juggle my time, mm -hmm. and um, to be honest, I did have a little play this morning. Oh, but, yay! Um, Very I, good. I'm a bit rusty, but any any time is normally spent working on little bits here, yeah. little bits there, yeah. so uh, it's not always possible to have a good test session. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. But, uh, I know the pillars are very cool. Yeah. Um, and and what are you what are you currently working on without too many without details? Without too many details. Um, so we've been working on a few things for the anniversary update. Ooh! Yeah. So uh, exciting. Really excited about some uh, new inclusions. Yeah. And um, just some things that might seem so small and trivial, kind of the picnic benches and things like that. You think, oh, oh it's. Um, so good to this open is the a few right possibilities. To exactly. Hit for exactly. Benches, yeah. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went wild at FX. They yeah. went wild. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, thank you, Shan, for the uh, the golden joystick mm. shout out. That's definitely exciting. If you do want to vote, um, you can go to. There's a website. We tweeted about it yesterday. Yes. Sorry, it's yeah. slipped my brain right now. Um, but you can still vote until November third, which is Friday. So if you do want to vote for Planet Coaster, um, that would be lovely. And uh, and maybe we can maybe we can win. We can get together and win. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. There. No, you are quite welcome to. That's yeah. right. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought you were going to tell us like all the exciting things you were doing with Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, okay. Well, yes, dinosaurs <laughs> and things. Yeah. Dinosaurs and things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you voted for a PC here yeah, too. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. It's also a really nice entrance to Litus. I completely agree. Mm. Um, and I wondered if uh, if Janatha, I know you're still in the chat. Did, were you inspired by Annika? I bet you were. Because look at this. It's awesome. Um, very cool. So let's, let's let's look at the next. next I like that one. it isn't just flat. No, that's definitely true. It has a lot a load of cool. The twenty-two meter <gasps> Egyptian column. Wow. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, just build just build a building. Just build a building. This is where we let James Stent get creative. Wow, that's I cool. I love that. Yeah. That's really nice. That so that's called Egyptian. Obelisk, no, Egyptian column, column. Yeah. and um, 22 meters tall. Very cool. Loads of colors, says Billy M.F. Mace. Yes, uh, I think he was, says Joel. He was definitely inspired, uh, as you should be. Look at this. This is cool. We should have been in the sand map, shouldn't we? I agree. I agree. <laughs> Alternative Alpine Park. Yeah. <laughs> He was disinspired by it. He was building something Egypt, but then Annika did it way ah, better. That's go. totally what happened. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Very cool. Um, you recently stayed. I mean, Garden of the Coaster recently stayed at the Luxor in Ve in Vegas, and it's reminding me of my stay. Oh, mm -hmm. is that is that a, is that the pyramid thing? Is that a pyramid? I'm hotel. not sure. I'm not familiar I'm with the Luxor I'm in Vegas. I'm, not, I'm sure no. everything in everything in Vegas is borrowed from something else, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so if it wasn't the Eiffel Tower in Vegas, you were pyramid probably hotel. in the pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. really cool. That's really really cool. Um, Demonoroth says, "Bo, never let an audio guy do anything visual. Always ends bad." Hmm. Have you met? Have you met James Stent? He's probably. He's that's why he's super creative. That, yeah. No. <laughs> uh, and Three P Music is in the chat as well. Yay. Hello, Three P Music. Thank you very much for joining us today, um, as well. 
Very cool. Luxor is the pyramid. Yeah, this looks awesome. I really love those pillars. So I wonder, how did she do those rings? Sorry, I'm making you do all the hoops. Jump through all the hoops for me. Ah, it's just the big, the big circle shapes. It's really well done. Round Nicely of applause for Veronica. I love this. This is very cool. Excellent. And I, I just like the colors. Like it's all like, it really feels Egyptian. It does. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure the Eiffel Tower is in France. I know. I was making a point that Vegas is <laughs> borrowing from all other cultures and is basically a fake city made by fake landmarks that aren't from the states. <laughs> <laughs> um, very cool. The Lux is the pyramid thing that you can do really cool stunts uh, on in GTA San Andreas. Oh, mm. okay. I don't think I ever finished that one. Um, hello, Ingmar. How are you doing? You sure, Bo? Yes, I am sure about James Stant and his awesome visual uh, abilities. Do not, do not insult the Stant men oh, in front of me. That's all right. <laughs> Look at the sun setting. It's this gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah, I really like this. I know you're being silly, Jack. I was being silly back at you. Hey. <laughs> Uh, just like Disneyland, yes, very true. They also stole Disneyland from us. Um, <laughs> from us, as if I'm French. <laughs> or work for Disney, neither. Uh, so basically, Vegas is a theme park. I guess so. Nightbringer, this basically wants... Uh, this once... Ah! This makes me want to play more Assassin's Creed. You should. It's a great game. But also Planet Coaster, which is a greater game. Um, so, yes, we saw the column. What else? What else have we got? Oh, you're, oh no, uh, no. No, we can there head we back into the blueprints. Yes. Make it, make it pretty. Make it pretty, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Blueprints? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Oh, hello, sunshine. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, this is really cool. These oh, are wow. the Egyptian gods and goddess, goddesses, and this is really awesome. And I, I, I'm, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open a Wikipedia page, and we're gonna try to name them all, because I don't know these by heart, do you? Are you good with your Egyptian gods? Anubis. In okay, the middle, there's an Anubis. Think, yeah. Wait, place it, place it down first, and then we'll. Yeah. Famous Egyptian. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Women. Famous Egyptian women. This is the first search term. Hello, that's very <laughs> good. Uh, there we go. The ten most worshipped ancient Egyptian gods. Let's try and find them. Ooh, I probably this probably spoils like Assassin's Creed for me as well. So there's six here. So we've got Amun Ra. We've got. Mut, Osiris, Anubis, Ra, Horus, Th uh, Toth, Hathor, Sekhmet, and Geb. So, oh, there's bubbles! Okay, <laughs> so let's try. Annika, these look I so look, yeah. great, by the way. Oh, someone's already figured it out. Damanaroth says... There we go. Uh, Horus is there, Toth is there, Anubis, Ra, and Isis. Oh, okay. Uh, Annika is watching right now, Yay. so do keep hey putting the hearts and everything uh, uh, in the chat for her um, to, to make sure that she's feeling the love and, and knows that we're thinking of her. Um, so Okay, so let's, let's try this. Let's try this. So the hidden one is Amun-Ra, so I'm assuming he's not there because he's hidden. There we go. Solved it. Um, so we've got the mother goddess. I don't know what they all look like. Okay, let's go through this. So this is Amun-Ra is believed to be the father of the pharaohs. Uh, Amun and Amunet are the male and female versions, called the Hidden Ones, uh, and looks like... Oh, I don't know. Crazy pants. Can't tell. Uh, Mother Goddess. She could be the one in white, maybe. Would that be Mutt? What do you think? The primal deity yeah, the in Egyptian, in who wears two crowns on her head. Hmm. 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 Representing Upper and Lower Egypt. This is good. We're learning. We're learning from Annika right now. Um, Mut is portrayed as a cat, cobra, cow, or lioness. <gasps> no! Hmm. I think Mut is not there. Osiris. Let's try and find Osiris. Hmm. 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 Worshipped as the god of the afterlife. Uh, painted with green skin. Well, he's wearing green, the little, little penguin guy. I thought he was a penguin. <laughs> um, we have a left to right in the chat. Oh, we do? Yeah. Oh, who's, who's figured it out? So Damanaroth has figured yeah. it out. Toth on the left. So that would be blue wearing orange guy. Then we've got Horus. Yeah. Then Anubis in the middle. Yeah. Then Isis and Hathor. So who's the guy in the back? Who's this fella? If you figured it out. Let me know. 
These are really, I know, these are so cool. I really love these. I do love the it, particle effects, the, the bubbles. Yeah, it's awesome, mm, isn't it? Yeah. That's, so I thought that's what, that's Annika is trying to give us something away, like a little hint there. The Vekoma God, mm. Micro Joe. Micro Joe, you stop that right now. There is no Vekoma <laughs> God. Um, is it Ra? Oh, everyone's saying it's Ra. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's go to Ra. So Ra is the God of sun and radiance. Uh, at a midday sun as identified Ra holds important position in the Egyptian history. The God of sun who has a sun disk around his head is believed to have created this world. So there you go, that's mm. Ra. Raw. Um, portrayed as a falcon headed man. Yeah, that's true. Uh, him and Horus shared an association which led him no which led him to be known as the this is terrible terrible written website, I'm so sorry. Uh, which made him known as the Horus of the Horizon. Many ancient Egyptian gods were merged with Ra, and many were created by him, as well as some rival gods like Ta, Isis, and Apep. 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 I am butchering these pronunciations. Um, that's cool. I really like that. So Toth, I'm going to try to find them. There he is. That, that's the one on the left. So yes, that would be Toth. So that's the god of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, settled disputes between good and evil, considered as the god self-created, master of both physical and divine laws. He, along with his counterpart, Maat, maintained the universe by the mastery and calculations. Ooh. Uh, the uh, Egyptians acknowledge him as an author of science, philosophy, and magic. Well, he's an, he's an interesting chap, isn't he? Yeah, the middle one is Ra, so it's Ra, and then this one is Toth, and then we've got... Mm, uh, Demonoroth knows his god. So, okay, wait, who is the next one? So all the way on that side was Hathor. Yes. That's the goddess of motherhood. I guess that makes sense. I mean, she looks like a lovely mummy. So that would be... Uh, she was worshipped as she welcomed the dead into the next life. An offspring of Ra, she exemplified motherhood and feminine love. They also offered prayer to her as a goddess of music and dance. Uh, she is believed to provide a blessing as a helper of women during pregnancy and childbirth. Affectionate, humble and kind to all creatures. Uh, she was also known as the Lady of Heaven, Earth and the Underworld. It's basically, it's very cool. So that is that one. Do we, ha do we have one more? Which one was the other one? I already mm. forgot. Uh, yeah, that's Ra, Anubis, yes. Osiris. Oh, this website is bull. This website is horrible. Annika, you, you, I'm sure you figured it all out, and, and you, you should have, like, you, 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 will, you will have done a better job explaining it than I did. I tried. I tried to educate everyone. Isis is in white. Okay. Okay. Opening okay. a new one. Oh, God. What have I done? Isis. <sighs> Excellent right. use of the Oh, hello. Sign. This is, I should Very not good. just search for ISIS because that is no longer a safe term. Uh, God. God. Yeah. <laughs> Goddess. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Well done, Bo. Um, ISIS. ISIS is a goddess. Come on. Give me a website. Everything is so slow. There we go. Okay. Uh, blah de blah. Widely worshipped still today. Uh, she was worshipped as the ideal mother and wife, as well as the patroness of nature and magic. She was the friend of slaves, sinners, artisans, and the downtrodden. But she's also, but she also listened to the prayers of the wealthy, maidens, aristocrats, and rulers. Um, she is often depicted as the mother of Horus, the falcon-headed deity associated with king and kingship. Um, although in some traditions, Horus's mother was actually Hathor, so these two... I guess are together. Mm. Uh, Isis is also known as the protector of the dead and the goddess of children. That's nice. Uh, I, her, the name Isis means throne. Her headdress is therefore a throne. So it is the second one. No, he says the middle one. Hmm. Demonoroth, what do you want about? Isis is, yeah, Isis is in white. No, sorry, you were correct, Demonoroth. Anubis is the lord of the dead. This is yes, really confusing, yep. but I, I'm having a good time figuring this out. <laughs> Sorry, terrible search term. You were correct. Welcome to the best community, says everyone. Okay. Um, I love how she uses the wires as a staff. Yeah, it's really well done. Mm. They're, they're actually like, I, they're floating, by the way. They're that's, floating. Of okay. course, that's my but trademark. They are deities. So yes, in this case, yeah. it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> 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 you got away with it. Um, <laughs> Oh, Padanasu, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and, and, and sorry that you had to leave. Um, 
do think about uh, donating to a national charity for cancer research if you can. Um, but thank you very much for watching us today. Uh, Planet Coaster Egyptian Gods DLC confirmed. If it was designed by Annika, this would be it, and it would be awesome, and I would pay hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of euros for it. But unfortunately, no, this is not confirmed. This is the best of Annika in the workshop right now. Um, Isis sounds like she was pretty chill. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think they're all pretty cool. Like, they're all protectors of the people, right? So. Um, I don't think any of these are evil in here. You know the names are in the description of the workshop. Oh, boy. Well, there we go. Oh, so we can go this, and we can go to workshop. Okay. <sighs> Thanks! Uh, then we've got B, go there, and then content. Uh, oh, sorry, no! Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Content, and scroll down. No, workshop items. Steam, I love Steam. And subscribed. Items, yeah, and then we'll go to doop, 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 doop. the gods and goddesses down, 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 down. There we this go. one, and then we'll see. We'll see what Annika says. She says from left to right, Ra, Horus, Anubis, Isis, and Hathor. In the back is a huge Ra based on a statue made by uh, Decaf. We had double Ra. We had double Ra. Double That's why ra. we were confused. I was trying to figure it out. This was this was good. This ra, was ra. a good yeah. a good little uh, Egyptian quiz. And uh, I, f I feel I should have known more about it. I feel like it. I've been educated. A little yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. I think so. I definitely think so. I've been inspired um, anyway. So, I, I feel so inspired. Good. I think yeah. this theme is really good. And, um, and it looks amazing. So I really like this blueprint. Thank you so much, Annika, for sharing. Um, let's try the next one. The next one. Ooh, the oh. Egyptian Hostel. Interesting. Hello, I fly in X-Wing. Thank you very much for joining us. Man, way to spoil the mystery. I know, I was trying to, I was trying to do it. To, what hap what's happened here? We have another one. Oh no, a floaty. Another floaty. Okay, you can fix this. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> the stress you must be under oh, no. right now is, it's okay. I want all of them in my park, says Nuclear Meatloaf. Nuclear Meatloaf, that is a good username. Nuclear Meatloaf, I'm not sure if I want to eat your meatloaf. Um, loving all of this uh, Egyptian stuff. M Sorry, Mala Marvelous. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, me too. So this is all created by Annika, who this stream is dedicated to today. Um, her username on uh, Steam is Y-A-V Yav. Um, I don't know if Joel is still here, if he probably is. Uh, do put the link to her, um, her workshop in the chat if you can, Joel. That would be really cool. Um, Holly Hughes, uh, okay, just joined, what have I missed? So this stream is dedicated to our beloved Annika who um, has uh, had some bad news with regards to her diagnosis and, uh, and we just wanna, you know, put her in the spotlight and uh, send her all of our love and, uh, and happy positive thoughts because um, she is a very, very valued member of this community. So um, this stream is dedicated to her and her amazing workshop, um, which has a lot of a lot of it, Egyptian stuff in it. And this is the Nile View Hostel. I like the name. I yeah. like it too. I feel like we should have placed it by the Nile. But it's yes, okay. Yep. <laughs> it's okay. You got this. Hello, Sylph. Thank you so much for joining uh, all the way from Japan. That's really cool. Thank you, Joel, for putting the uh, workshop to Annika's um, Steam. Uh, sorry, a link to Annika's workshop in the chat. Uh, <laughs> you only missed me not knowing my Egyptian gods. That's very true. Uh, I am very sorry. I don't taste good. Nuclear meatloaf does not taste good. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I really was not going to take a bite, but now I definitely will not. Um, aw. Silverette, uh, I don't know if, if she can, so I'll read it out as well. So, Annika, Silver has a message for you. He says, best of luck to you. Hope you can enjoy the stream. Glad to have met you on Discord. You're awesome. Um, and we can only support that message wholeheartedly. Um, How has everyone been? J1SH, we've been good. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, are you actually building denial right I'm now? I'm trying. I feel like I've been criticized. So no, I'll, uh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's well, denial, yeah, that's, denial. <laughs> that's, that's I go. don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. You know, people travel from all around the world to see this. Uh, yeah, and definitely. This so it. It, you don't, you know what? Never go to uh, Egypt ever again. Just go to Planet Coaster <laughs> and uh, enjoy the Nile by James Stand. Um, I think, I think you should stick to Planko and I audio agree. and all the awesome stuff that yep. you're so so good at. This, this, this. It's yeah. a good job we've got Nick. This is great. Tomorrow on the stream. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. If that's denial, he's in denial. I am. That is Get Lost Your Gaming. Yeah. Well done. Um, Silverhead is currently standing in a crowded train in Tokyo, unable, oh, unreal to be able to be in the stream, but it's definitely worth it. That's cool. That's very cool. Thank you, Sil, for joining us. I'm sure it means a lot. Um, Daz Valdez, hello, Daz. Hey. Thank you so much for, for joining us um, right now. Daz, in case you don't know, we are dedicating a special stream to a lovely member of our Planet Coaster uh, community who's had um, a really stupid diagnosis that is horrible and unfair and we don't like that so we are dedicating the stream to her to send her love and support um, this is Annika that we're talking about so Daz do uh, put some love in the chat for Annika if you want to and uh, also if you uh, have any any leftover dollars at the end of this month donate to your national uh, cancer fund um, trust whatever it's called um, to help to help people and help uh, diagnosis and treatment for cancer. I hate cancer. It sucks. So, yeah. Thanks. Oh, look, everyone's in the chat. Putting the hearts there. Keep putting the hearts there. Uh, and I know she probably won't be able to see the chat, but Annika, there is lots of hearts going on for you um, in, the, in the chat. So, this is lovely. It so is. So, this is a little, little outside of the... Yeah. 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 Very cool. Selection of fruit and vases. I like it. So it's like a little, it's like a little like shed where they keep it all is. the stuff for the hostel yes. that we then yep. stay in. Yes, Microjo. I know um, there's also two parks. We'll show those at the end of the stream as well. Um, yes, in due time. Oh, uh, you guys, the chat, the chat is being super, super nice, Annika. Um, if you if you cannot see it. It's being, uh, it's full of love. Um, Damon Roth says, Bo, tell James he looks like a younger Damon Hill. Thank you. I, I don't know who that is, but I'm... A Formula I'm One swimming. racing driver. Oh, okay. Very, very good. And uh, a childhood hero. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. that's nice. So there yeah, you go. That's, that's lovely. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at this beautiful hostel, shall we? Let's have a look. Wow. Again, with the super nice patterns, there is a uh, Monsieur Frite, uh, there is a Looney Bloons, and of course a Bit water, shot. because yeah. we'll be in the desert at this point, yeah. so as we are watching the Nile, we don't want to drink Straight from that from Nile. No. Mm, no. So we are very happy for the, uh, for the Pip Shot water shop that you put in there, Annika. Thank you so much. Um, so we won't dehydrate. This is good. And there's lots of space in this hostel for people, which is great. There is. Oh my god, he does look like Damon Hill, says Tyro Septim. <laughs> <laughs> great! I need to Google this man. Um, and then there's a little outdoorsy uh, shed type area where the uh, maintainers of the hostel will keep all of the... Who is Damon Hill? I don't know, I didn't know either. It's a really nice hostel, I agree. Um, mm. Wait, where is Crocodile Island, says Jack Din. Ooh. Don't tempt James, he will start building random Crocodile yep. Islandses. Uh, islands, Islandses? Islandses. Yeah. Had a little golem in me there. Um, it's very cool. FCP Rog says, putting the three shops like that, I haven't thought to do that. Aw, that's really nice. Um, yeah, so Annika, you are inspiring loads of people today, which is really cool. I love this, this little canopy top that you've made. Yes. Um, you thought about everyone, mm. so there's definitely enough shade for people to go and relax, because, uh, you know, standing in the mm. sun all day, you'll start to hallucinate. Um, and we don't want that. Zachman is in the chat. Hello, Zachman. Thank you so much. Um, and that is your here. Nile view. Well, you did go. it! Yay. There you go! We created a Nile view. Now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. It's a very, it's slightly <laughs> underwhelming Nile, but I like the thought and I think, I think it's great. Um, you would use the entire top of the building as a queue system. That's really cool, Wingardium mm. Levy Coaster. Good thought. Uh oh. Will that make it better? There's a little rowboat. It's totally going to make it better. Wow. Okay. That, it, now it <laughs> looks one. like the Nile. Now it looks like this the is, Nile. Now it's Amazing. definitely the Nile. Um, love this. Oh. Uh, Slow Shark Attack says, I am maybe planning a 24 hour stream uh, for charity and I will make the donation to cancer research. Uh, Slow Shark Attack, that is absolutely amazing. And I'm sure that whatever m amount of money you end up raising will help a lot of people um, and will definitely help uh, the, the cause for that you'll, you'll be donating to. So well done to you. That's awesome. Um, also, Frontier is doing a, a charity stream at 
somewhere in the middle of December, um, which will be for special effect. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're also definitely looking forward to, to doing that. I think charity streams are yeah. one of the greatest things yeah. to, to use this medium for. And, uh, and person bow, not community member bow, but person, person bow will also do a donation after the stream um, to uh, KWF, which is the Dutch National uh, Cancer Trust. And I do um, encourage everyone who is watching today who wants to make a little difference to, um, to have a look at your national uh, cancer research um, organization and see what you can do for them, because everything helps. Sorry I was late, says SP Ridley. Okay, you're not like late, the you're here. The Nile provides with one boat <laughs> ferrying goods. Very awesome. You done. You did it. You I did can't it. overload it. Like it's <laughs> is that the time? Jesus. That's so the time. The crocodiles are hiding at the bottom, says Kimitex. Um, it's Esper Ridley, you're not late. Thank you so much for, for joining us. It's okay. Um, what else has Annika got in Let's store for us? Let's have a look. There is a, an obelisk. Oh, Ooh, yes. yes. Ooh, yes. I do like it. <gasps> Where's it going? Where's it going? Can I put it there? Yeah. Wow. So she really has a handle on this Egyptian theme. It's very impressive. I like how she created this shape. I, every single time, I just don't know how people do it. I always feel like it must be... So you angled ah. the wall. So just, what? Very clever. That is clever. Wow. Well done. Uh, is the boat even bearing goods? Uh, yes, Huli Hughes, use your imagination. It's, it's, it's carrying all the goods. Um, <laughs> how does that work, says Nuclear Meatloaf? I know, right? Like, this is really impressive. So it's, it's the columns, but they're all angled slightly so that they create the obelisk shape, which is just really, really cool. Um, there is so much little subtle detail in that obelisk. Exactly. Where are you? Oh, the goods. There's goods now. There, there will be, be goods. There's goods. Oh, there's, my goodness. It's not going to be. No, this isn't going to work, is it? You, you'll make it work. You can do it. Can do it. Uh, there you Something go. Something like that. <laughs> Look all from a distance, that'll be fine. I think it's good. All this <laughs> stuff, as we really says, all this stuff is absolutely lovely. So many times you see Egyptian themes without color, but the real stuff had, uh, had so much color, so it's absolutely beautiful that Annika did this. I agree, like this is very, very colorful and, and adorable and cool. It's not just a sandy sort of, you know, uh, ruins that we know. It was all very lush and and tropical and and wonderful and very colorful. So I agree. It's I think it's very. Um, that's the one thing I do know. <laughs> don't I don't know my Egyptian gods, but I do know what it looked like. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Try try to save Grace a little bit there. <laughs> Didn't work. Uh, yeah, which is really really awesome. And then uh, aside from the obelisk, we have what we do we have going have. on here? Ooh. Egyptian wings of Isis. I was really looking forward to this one. Once again, fantastic use of colour. Oh it's yeah, beautiful. absolutely. Just doing a quick, and a quickie check. Quick check. Why can't we see that? Oh. All right. I want to steal the shop ID idea, Anubis, and the obelisk. Oh dear. Um, okay. Egyptian in general is, pr is a pretty underrated theme in my opinion. Nice to see some great creations in it, says Silverette. I agree. Um, so Shark Attack is reminded of the comic Asterix and Cleopatra. It's very true. That was a great one. Oh! Oh, look at you combining everything. Whoa. There are probably people screaming. I think it's the that's wrong not, way around. That's the thing. I, I put one that way and it had a, a, a white oh, cube. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, no, this is definitely the right way oh, around. I love the snakes. <laughs> very, very cute. This is awesome. This is really cool. So this is all primary shapes. And they're... Oh, I love the little snake faces. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cool. How... Oh my goodness. How much time did this cost? Like, look how nicely this all looks together as well. This is really impressive. I should put some fire on it. Yeah, it's one thing creating one item, but having it all... Coexist together, yeah. Spiral Guy 86 Excellent, looks gorgeous, yeah. Patat Special, very creative. Um, Kimikas, amazing, Esperitly, beautiful use of the art shapes. Um, Kimitex says it, also, it could also be used as a really cool fence. Ooh, yes. A danger noodle, do not touch, says Sylph. 
How many pieces does this have? Five. Asks uh, Nuclear Meatloaf. This is 463 pieces. Wonderfully coherent creation, says Jack Din. Well, there you go. Loads of compliments for you. Um, and well deserved. This is very, very cool. Very cool. This is literally like a whole theme. We should have hired Annika. It's just we should. Like yeah. out outsourced Egyptian theme to Annika. Um, <laughs> and then and she could have just created all of this. Look how look how nice this is. This is really well done. Oh, we, can we put some um, can we put some fire in the on the top of the columns? To we make can. It, to give it some nice light. Yeah, uh, yeah, special effects. And then you gotta just kill your um, kill my fruit. Kill your yeah. search term there. I mean, fireworks works as well. Whatever oh, you want. Can we see the Egyptian figures again, Bo? I want to see them in detail. As we'll do a little fly through at the end. Um, just, just let, let's put some fireworks or mm. fire on this. Ooh. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Some I'm slow sure. burns or slow burns. Mm -hmm, that's like one of these probably. Oh, that's colorable ones. That I is mean, colorable. sure, we can color it. That's, that's the that's the fiery one. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine this in the desert. So beautiful. I know. We took a tropical park. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Don't. It's okay. Well, no. No one will. Be, no one will be upset. Um, good. <laughs> Light it up, says Micro Joe. Okay. We we will. We will. Um, Slow Shark Attack. You would like a, a few more different styles? Yeah. We've got we've got quite a few in there. We've got quite a few themes going on. And then there's the the amazing creativity in the in the Planko Fem that burn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Micro Joe, someone calm down Micro Joe. Someone calm him down, someone give him a hug, tell him everything is going to be all right. We don't need to burn it down. Um, green fire would be great on top of the columns, says Kim Atex. Let's do it for Kim Atex. Yeah. Jim, Jim Stand is feeling it right now, I think. I think you're feeling it right now. I'm getting there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Just don't look at that. There we go. As P. Ridley, <laughs> Ridley says, the tropical park is actually more near the Egyptian theme than the desert one. Um, that's more of an American type desert. So we did good. Well, we're, yeah, almost. We're in the Alpine park, so we almost did good. <laughs> but it's green, so it, it looks, yes, tropical. We knew what we were doing. It's Vegas. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the Vegas Egyptian theme. <laughs> let's, let's make it a little bit darker. Let's make it like dusky yeah. and then we can, we can look at the cool light. That's pretty awesome. Um, all right, Sylph needs to go. He's almost at his station, but th this tidbit of stream has been very great. Um, thanks for the content, Bo, and for the awesome birthday card. Happy belated uh, birthday, of course, Sylph. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with us. And uh, Annika, he says, all the best of luck to you again. Um, very cool. Look at this, though. Kimitex, you were right. Green fire. Yeah, good shout. Green fire like totally yeah. works. It really works for that. It's like... It's like James Stand, the um, impersonation of Ra, has oh, come down like that, from yeah. the audiovisual heavens and cursed this Egyptian temple. <laughs> and with that curse, all the fire turned green. Grrr, and, uh, and now he will ascend back. Now, this yep. is an Anubis temple, says Kimitex. See? It's good. We, we, we will trust. We will trust our chat today. We will. Um, this is a perfect example of a well-themed set that shows that we have way more control than the basic parts with our creativity and the awesome stuff that we already have. For FC FCP rug, I couldn't agree more. That's very true. Demonoroth says, now we're talking. Cool. If you change the colors to white, it will give a very cool attack as well. Those statues are perfect. Yes, they are, SP Ridley. Let's, let's, let's quickly look at the statues for, for, um, for SP Ridley. Look how cool they are. I, I think, Annika, this is one of my favorite blueprints of you. Like, this is so cool. I misnamed all of them as previously, by the way. Like, I tried really hard and totally failed, so I got schooled. We were um, quite consistent with Anubis in the middle. Yes. Yeah. And, and Ra, the chat was like, Ra, Ra, Ra. Ra, 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 They are like flu networks. That's so, so true. Is that, <laughs> that's a Harry Potter thing, the green, the green fire. Um, I had a feeling SP Ridley would like these, says FCP. That's awesome. Well done. Very nicely um, lit as well in the dark. Yes, yeah. we haven't done that. Yeah. That's all, Annika. Yep, she's done it that. Is. Amazing work, uh, SP Ridley says. So there you go. Um, it also looks like wildfire from the Game of Thrones. It's very good. Mm. Uh, 
<laughs> no, Huli Hughes, this was not. Jester D says, they were awesome. Um, I'm just having so much fun in this game, skinning generic rides to match my themes as Lustra Gaming. That's cool. What theme are you, are you currently working on, um, Lustra? <laughs> uh, Trevelyan sorry, says, is it bad that I'm watching this during a university lecture? lecture? That depends. What are you studying? Let us know. Is it is it Egyptian studies? If it is, then no, it's not bad. Pay attention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, what what else have we got? We, I think we have a few more. We do. I think we have two more. Yeah. Um, Ooh. And slightly, uh, slightly a different. Slendy's home. Slendy. This was the spooky one that she started on. Yeah. Ooh. Your uh, Lustre Gaming is also working on uh, skinning bumper cars to have a spooky theme. Very cool. Whoa. Ooh, Ooh, look at this. Home. I think this needs to be in the dark as well. That's cool. Um, yes, 10 a.m. the dark. Lovely house, okay, says Vanguardian Love Because says lovely house. It looks a bit haunted to me. Well, it obviously has a haunted carousel inside. Ooh. Whoa, oh. oh my gosh, okay. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. There's so much going on. <laughs> I did not expect. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> who are all of these? Who are those little fellas? Little, little, what's going on? Oh, this is so cool. It's like Toy a, soldiers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Love the dog. Can we zoom in on the dog? Dog, dog, dog. Dog, 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 dog. There's the dog. It's ghost. It's the little ghost doggy. Oh, that's really cool. Tetsuo just uh, dropped in quickly to say hello to Annika and all of the best wishes. Thank you so much, Tetsuo, for joining. Um, really quickly. <laughs> the dog is adorable. Ha ha ha. So cool. Uh, a little bit creepy. Ha ha ha. Awesome. And I love the mouse as well. Hilarious. Uh, the detail on the inside is so unexpected. I love it, says Mala Marvelous. Uh, Joel says, that's really nice. A lovely spooky house with a carousel. Too spooky for me, says Mineral Junction. He's gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Muppets old show old intro, says Kim Atex. That's cool. Uh, very Efteling. Mm -hmm. The eyes under the bed. What? I did see those. I missed it. I was reading the chat. What? Oh, so there's little eyeballs there. Oh my god, that's cool! They're watching you. That's really cool. The bunny, cuteness overload. Big thumbs up. My hat's off to all the sculpture work that Annika made. Um, wonderful stuff. This is really funny. <laughs> <gasps> Super fan of the bunny, says Kimitex. Looks like a house for Frontiers Damon Hill, says the Monoroth. There we go, I can live here. <laughs> uh, the house has devil eyes. Ooh, everything has eyes here. This is really fun. That bunny is cute. It's evil. <laughs> evil bunny. Um, this is really adorable. It's fantastic. Well done, yeah. yeah. And a little garden outside as well. Like Everything is really well done. And then the little, I love these little, what's that called? When a house has like a little, Thing that sticks out. Oh, a porch? No. Yeah, but that. Oh. What would you call that? Um, what would you call that? What would you call that? What would you call that? Help me, native well, speaker. Kind of like a, a balcony. <laughs> a balcony? Know. Okay. Mm, call it a balcony. I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, Nuclear Meatloaf says it looks a bit like Five Nights at Freddy's Bunny. It does, actually. And it's called Slendy's Home. So is that a reference to Slenderman? I don't mm. know. I feel like there's some, some scary horror. Um, things hidden in there, but um, at a first glance, Elizabeth Wingardium Levicoaster was right. It's it's a really well-built, cute, adorable house. But then when you go in, I just feel like there's a lot of eyeballs going on. There are. Yeah, yeah Zach Antonacci would not like this. He doesn't like eyeballs. Um, and I think, <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, he probably wouldn't enjoy it. I was this. so impressed before I went inside. Exactly. I it was an incredible creation, and you think, Oh, that's beautiful. I know. And then, and then there was just so much more going and, yeah. on. Like, it's really special. Yeah. So well yeah. done, Annika. And then we've got one final more, we which kind of more. kind of goes with this just this theme. Uh, spooky bootcase, yeah. Spooky bootcase. Very cool. This is nice. I, like, anyone can use this in their um, spooky blueprints. Make sure it doesn't float. Of course. There you go. Shall I put it inside? Yeah, why not? It fits. It does. Fits um, in the living room, maybe? Or, you know, if they want some late night reading in the bedroom. Hmm. I like it. Mm. 
<laughs> it's very haunted. Awesome. Yeah. Like very cool. Um, you don't expect a ride inside, let alone all that theming. Definitely. Those are eyes? Yeah, look, under the things, there's little eyes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're being watched. Um, very cool. It's very Symbolica, says Slow Shark Attack. That's awesome. It, it, it is. Symbolica is a, is a new dark ride in the Efteling. Yes. Um, yeah. That's cool. Excellent. Everyone is eating pumpkins. Awesome. I think this is really cool. And then we've got one more thing to show. Um, so, Annika, thank you so much for, for all these really cool um, items on your workshop. Again, if you want to... Um, if you want to see and subscribe to these items, uh, her Steam name is Yav, Y-A-V. And she also made uh, two parks. Ah. And um, so uh, let's, let's try and go to one. So we'll have to go back to the main menu for yep. a second. Um, but since I have everyone here, so Annika called these her legacy parks. So basically, she, um, she started these parks and she has a lot to show, um, but they're not finished. So um, there is an Egyptian park, and I think the other one is, is, is called Dreamland, um, which is her imagination, which is really lovely. So I, what I would like to do um, as a, a Planko community is to, um, to finish the parks for her. Um, so please do drop me, drop me a message um, on my email or on Discord if you want to be a part of that. And then um, I think it would be really nice if we as a community finish Annika's Parks um, for her with her creations, but also with her, uh, her starting ideas as a centerpiece for them. Um, so I, I, think, I think that would be a nice, um, a nice way to celebrate all of the things that Annika's done for this community. Um, and it's probably the least thing we can do. So let's have a look at those parks. Yes. Um, so we'll go to play and buy parks and downloads uh, over there. Yeah. And then there's, yeah, so we have Little, Little Egypt is the first one. So let's have a look at that one. Um, if it, yeah, I don't know when it's going to load. But yeah, OK, everyone seems excited to do that. So I think that would be really, really cool if maybe we can do a sort of a pass the park thing with it uh, until it's finished. And we can take all the time that we need. Maybe we can say uh, we'll start now and uh, and we'll show it off at the 24 hour live stream. Maybe that's maybe that's a that nice thing good. to do. Yeah. So it give us, gives us like a month and a half. Um, and I think everyone um, Let's let's see how am I gonna how am I gonna streamline this? So if if you want to participate with this with this uh, past the park thing, then do send me a message uh, at community at frontier.co.uk or my personal email, um, which is uh, bdevries at frontier.co.uk, um, and tell me which one of the two you want to work on, or if you want to do both, and then I'll make a little schedule and we'll start passing it around, um, and then at the uh, twenty four hour live stream, I make sure that we have an hour dedicated. To Annika, to you, um, where we show off the, the finished parks. Um, and that will be your legacy parks. I think that um, that might be a nice thing to do. Sign me up. I'll make a ride or two for both of them, says Zachman the Dangerous. Very cool. So this is Little Egypt. So as you can see, Annika has already made a great start. That's how wow. you do a river. That's how you do a river. That's how you yeah. do the Nile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's loading a little bit. Sorry for the slight problems there. Um, but that is, that's amazing. Look at the Sphinx! <gasps> that's oh, so incredible. cool. That's so cool. I l and look at the, the uh, uh, Ankh symbols the, yep. on, the, on the pyramid. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't want to ruin that, says Hex or Zero. We're not going to ruin anything. We're going to leave all, all of it as it is. Um, we'll just make sure that they're finished. Um, and that's really, really special. Wow. We've got time to quickly that's ride this. That's amazing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I didn't know there was a coaster in there. Let's do it. Let's ride the coaster. I think she loves Egypt, says <laughs> Morgs. Yeah, this is one of the two. There's another one. Um, that's cool. Look at that. Dude, I would ruin it, says Nuclear Meatloaf. No, we won't. It's not about ruining it. It's just about getting together and and celebrating Annika and all of her awesome work. Wow. I think, I feel like I've shown this coaster as a separate blueprint before. 
Well, it's fresh to me, and I think this is absolutely awesome. This is so cool. Kind of it, Talos Principle. Yeah, I see, yeah. Mala Marvelous. I feel like I feel like we've shown this as a separate blueprint at, or something. It seems it seems. Oh yay! Oh, I'm glad she likes it. I'm glad I'm glad you like it, Annika. Thank you. Um, obviously, that this is all yours. So uh, we'll 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 make sure we'll do something cool um, with it. Yeah, we did, and it's fresh to me. Pyramids are difficult to do well, but look, she somehow manages to do them perfectly. Ah, I'm jealous. This is really cool. I love how we go through the pyramid and everything. It was featured in the Dark Ride stream, wasn't it? Thank you, Fubar. See, I, it, it seemed a, bit, a little bit familiar. <laughs> Definitely a good pyramid. Very cool, says, says FCP Rug. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes we show things double. I didn't. I didn't realize that. We've shown it in the dark before. Now we've seen it in the light. <laughs> it's it's awesome. It's worth showing it again. Really nice. Uh, nuclear meatloaf. That's cool. Yes, it is. D exactly, Hexer. You get it. It's worth to show it twice. Um, but yeah. So that that is called Little Egypt. Um, that's on her workshop as well. Uh, oh, it's not her coaster. Okay, that's why. Ah. So this is someone. That's okay. But it's still really cool. Um, hello, Gav. How are you? I love this. It's very well done. I think I know that. Is that Extraordinaire's fairy? Maybe then. That's really cool. Um, and then we've got another park, which is called Dreamland. That's the main menu. Yes. Oh. Or a dreamscape. Dreamscape, sorry. Dreamscape. Um, the Egyptian version of Space Mountain. Preferred that one. It's really cool. After all this, Bo just wants to go play Assassin's Creed instead of work. Well, I mean, Annika has definitely inspired me with all of this Egyptian theme stuff. So I, it's, I'm definitely into that. Dreamscape, dreamscape, yeah. So this is the other one that she um, that remains unfinished. Hello, Darg's Planet Coaster. I have not seen your name before. How are you doing, sir or ma'am? Um, these are excellent, says Nuclear Meatloaf. I agree. I agree. Kimitex says, a very, uh, very talented girl. Yes, that is true. Very true. Um, so, yeah. Have you enjoyed the stream today? I have. It's been fun. Yeah. yeah I always do enjoy returning. So, thank you for inviting Good. me. No, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, uh, no worries, Bo. After this, I'll go play in your stead. Thanks, Damanaroth. You're not making me feel jealous at all because I get to hang with the Planko fam, which is better. Hmm. Uh, I think I have an idea for the Egyptian park, says SP Ridley. Awesome. Do let me know. Um, hope you have some time. Well, we should have, so we should have a month and a half for it. Um, so um, hopefully that will give everyone enough time, and maybe if, if there's not too, if there's not a lot of people that want to help, then maybe focus on one of the parks and then show that off. Um, but yeah, definitely, I definitely want to finish one of the two, um, and 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 keep that as a as a legacy. So, lady designer, keep your eyes open for this one, because um, look at look at this dreamscape. I feel like this is very fantasy. Is. For Dreamscape, she built it all except for the coaster. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting us know, lady. Um, that's amazing. So I already see some really cool castle creations over there. Oh, wow. Wingardium Levy coaster. She's, she's immediately interested. <laughs> see, I, 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 know, I know what everyone likes. This is good. Fantasy is always good. This looks beautiful. Uh, Whoa! Oh, what? And, and then you turn, turn around! around. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we were like, look at that cute little, little witch house. And then, and then you turn around and I'm there is like everything. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's really well done on the pathing as well. Yeah, lovely plaza. Whoa! Oh, look at that little teacup ride skin! That's awesome. Look at that castle! This is so great. This is more my yeah. style, says Harry Steele. Do do help us finish this park then, if you're if you're interested. Um, I think that would be such a nice thing. Menswear, gulpy, gulpy energy. energy. My goodness, there's a little eagle 
flying around. This is really cool. Look at that, though. That is beautiful. No need to finish this. It's already great. I mean, that's, that's true as well. But, I mean, she specifically named it her Legacy Park, too. Um. <gasps> oh, oh. This, oh, my God! <laughs> Little drat babies. I actually really like that. <laughs> so, funny story, Annika, I don't know if you read my mind, but the first thing um, I played uh, in Planet Coaster when I started working here was like, I, all I kept making was little dragon caves because we had the fantasy theme at that yeah. point because it was yeah. Alpha, Alpha 3. And all, that was all I was doing was just making dragon caves. And this is so cute, I never thought of putting the drats there as little drat babies. That's amazing. I love this. Oh my gosh, okay, so cute. Um, I volunteered to make the pond, make, put more, put more, <laughs> more, I like putting uh, shrubberies mm -hmm. down. I've seen many dragon caves, but this one is the, oh, Most hello. Cute. This one is the cutest one I have seen. I just destroyed my macrathon saws. Um, yeah, that's really awesome. <gasps> the witch watch station, that's cool. Wow. Egyptian dragons, says Demonoroth. Yes, Demonoroth, are you volunteering to do those, please? Who breathe necro fire. I am in the business with vegetation. Yes, yes I am. I am. I want to do all the flower stuff. Um, it's a dragon runaway, Bo. It's adorable. Yes, it's cute. It's Annika's dragon. Oh, look Aww. at the little throat frog thing. That's cute. Hello. Sorry, I broke my mic. It's just fixing that real quick. Um, <laughs> I do like that. That's Very awesome. Very characterful. Yeah. Children are welcome. Black cat. That's oh look at the little cat, Lady Zarner. Look at the cat. There's a cat. Annika has won all of our hearts today with all of her little creatures. That's really cool. That's so cool. We'll call him Mumble. Oh, even though Mumble is not a black cat, we'll still call him Mumble. Um, it has a cat, I'm sold, says Harry Steele. <laughs> That's really, the cat's adorable. So the coaster is not made by Annika, but yeah, there's some. There's definitely some floating things going on there, so I'm assuming that's an incomplete blueprint. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely have to, uh, have to fix up a little bit. Again, not a lot of work has to be done. Like, Annika has done an amazing, amazing job of getting this park started. Look at all of this cool things. Like, it's really cool. But um, but yeah, it's she, she called it her legacy park, and I think we should treat it as such. So let's get together as uh, as the Planko fam, as a, as our as a community, and and work on those parks together, and then uh, dedicate a special hour to uh, to Annika on the twenty four hour live stream. I think that would be really lovely. Um, there's a dragon outside of the entrance too. Yeah, I saw. It's really really cool. Superb. Yeah, very awesome. Um, so yeah, that's 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 kind of all we have for you for today. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's already time. It's already um, time. So would you would you like to sing your song again? I'd like to sing it again. Okay, if that's all right. Yes. Wait, let me just. Uh, let's. Uh, I'll just turn this off really quickly, so that we don't have the music. Uh, blah blah blah. No, that was correct. Mute. Apply. Okay. And we'll go over there. There we go. Yes. So we'll do we'll do an, we'll do another song. Take two. Please, um, thank you, Annika, so much for watching. I hope you had a really nice hour this past hour with us. Um, thank you for letting us share all of your beautiful creations. Um, again, feel loved, feel supported. Um, we're thinking of you so so hard, and we wish you all of the best. Kick some butt, um, and. Uh, do keep putting all the hearts in the chat like right now uh, the, the chat is giving all of the love to you as well um, So thank you so much for being part of the Planko fam and ah, we love you and James stand take oh, it away Take it away. I'll dance Hey, yo Talaseo Mootwish town Lofadeo Luce Yallop Sal Planico Star Luce Bell Sal Fum 
Melu havo sta Heyo Taleseo Mutwish tam Kulo fareo I realized awesome. I, missed, I missed the line earlier. No! I, I repeated it, so I, I'd got uh, Mu Twitch Tem Gulofadeo, which means it's Twitch time on Tuesday. Aww. So. I think we should get you in every Tuesday <laughs> now to Tuesday, write a new yep. song. <laughs> Super nice. Um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, we're going to be back tomorrow on YouTube at 7 p.m. GMT. I have to say now because the time change. Um, 7 p.m. GMT on youtube.com forward slash planetcoaster forward slash live. Hopefully, fingers crossed, with Nick Rogers uh, and some silly ha Halloween action um, for, for, for tomorrow. And thank you, James. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. It's uh, been lovely to see the community support in the chats absolutely and, uh, thank you for having me of course and we'll hope you'll be back soon as well yes. when you're not too busy um okay thank you guys so much and uh, we'll see you tomorrow love you annika and all the best bye <laughs>